This is a photo story from Mrs. Driscoll's class, Little House in the Big Woods. Long ago there was a family. In this family were Ma, Pa, Laura, Mary, and baby Carrie. Carrie is the youngest, then Laura, and Mary is the oldest. They all live a pioneer life in the big woods of Wisconsin. Paul had built a a fire of uh, dying baked of uh, bark and moss, and he ha laid down uh, the clips on it very carefully. He built a smoke house. Pa is hunting and looks around a tree and saw a bear holding a pig. Pa shoots the bear and gets both the bear and and a pig. Laura, Mary, Ma, and Pa have many chores. Mary, Laura, and Ma have a list of things to do while Pa goes and hunts for food. That list is wash on Monday, iron on Tuesday, mend on Wednesday, churn on Thursday, clean on Friday, bake on Saturday, and rest on Sunday. All of them make the beds, churn the batter, and help make different foods. Grandpa saw the pink panther and ran inside and grabbed his gun and shot it. Every day when Pa gets home from hunting, he loads his gun for the next day. Pa was lollygagging in the woods, so he got in trouble. An owl scared him by saying, who? Hey. He stumped his toe while he was running the big dog woods. Laura and Mary were, were making the candy with snow and syrup for members of the family that were coming over for Christmas dinner at Laura and Mary's. Laura wanted a rag doll for Christmas. On Christmas morning, Laura, Laura looked in her stocking. Laura pulled out candy and a rag doll. Laura was so happy she hugged it and hugged it. Sunday is one of my favorite days. One day, Laura said that she hated Sundays. When Laura said that, Paul pa told Laura to come over and sit on his, sit on his lap. And Paul told a story about how Sundays were strict. Now you see the differences between their Sundays. I just love sliding down hills. Paul and his brothers went sliding down the hill. On the way down the hill, a pig jumped out and scared them. That pig just squealed until they got to the bottom of the hill. When the boys and Paul got off, they were laughing so much, but they did not laugh for long. They got in trouble by their dad, daddy, and it was on a Sunday. It is really fun sliding down hills with your friends and family. The bear thinks the tree is a bear. He stares at it and looks at it for a very long time. He didn't eat it. He just looked at it and waited for it to move. Ma and Laura were going to milk Suki. Ma reached across the fence to slap Suki to move, but it was a bear. Ma and Laura had to run back to the horses. In this chapter, Grandpa and Pa put little wooden nozzles in trees. They let the tree sap run out into a bucket. They can make sugar, candy, and cakes. When Paul comes home, Laura and Mary get one cake each. They love it. It was so good to them, apparently. Once when all the family came to Grandpa's, they had a dance. Everybody started dancing. Once Grandma and Uncle George started jigging, they had a contest and Grandma won. Paul took the family to town. Laura found some pretty stones, but they fell out of her pocket. She cried, but Paul said it could be fixed. Paul went out into the woods and saw a bear with bees around him. The bears cannot sting the bear because of the bear's thick fur. Paul made a great racket on the tree with a club. So the fat bear left and Paul got honey to take home. Charlie got stung because when he was working, well, mostly working, he played and made a mess. Then he accidentally stepped on a yellow jacket's nest. That's what he gets for playing on the job. Paul and his family ate deer meat. 
Paul was too in interested in watching to shoot the deer. It was a baby and its mother. He forgot all about his gun. Laura was glad he he didn't shoot the deer.